up the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble well hello there and welcome to Dino's knows what i've lost my voice i've been screaming my lungs out this is the yamaha happy hours where you get not just one new motorcycle but two new motorcycles it's like a double delight it's like jeremy clarkson and chris harris featuring in one show it's like michael jackson and eminem sharing the same stage I've gone absolutely wild after the launch of the R9. That wasn't enough. They've all gone ahead and also shown us the new R3, which is absolutely kick-ass. So first, we're going to talk about the R9. Oh boy, what a weapon. What an absolute weapon. And for all of us Yamaha fanboys who are craving, who are craving for them to make a point, to leave their mark, to live up to their legacy, this is an un beatable weapon a track weapon i mean built with the same beastly cp3 triple symphony that the uh, mt09 has been known for the kind of incredible torque the master of torque now transforms into the master of track because the sharp cuts and creases the streamlined aerodynamics i mean the winglets for the added downforce the sharpshooter design everything screams precision and speed and performance beyond imagination yes uh, am i like overreacting to this yes i am a yamaha fanboy i love every uh, you know motorcycle launched in the r series and the r9 we've been waiting it for it for nearly three years now ever since there was a hint of news that yes they're working on a r9 a triple super sport and boy there were concepts there were uh, you know uh, uh, designs uh, there were renders digital renders but finally we are here with the r9 i'll stop about it let's talk about the bike itself it gets the new revised design language uh, which actually is shared with the r3 now that's okay because the r3 is a beautiful bike it deserved a design revision I could feel that happening because when we saw the Indian model launched, it was left wanting for more. And uh, Yamaha is some someone who doesn't launch motorcycles every six months, every one year or almost every other year. They just launch one that stands the test of time. You saw the R1M or the R1 being launched back in 2015, the revised design. It still looks goddamn sexy. I mean, it looks absolutely you know, out of this world, it looks as if it's going fast even while standing still. It looks like it's the dominating force at the track, even when it's just parked on the side. And you have the S1000RRs, you have the Kawasaki's which have had revision, uh, design revision. We not had much with the GSX uh, Gixxer uh, 1000, but the R1 still looks one of the finest. It doesn't need any design tweaks to it. All it needs is a new dash is what I feel. Dash is too tiny. Well, now the R9 brings the new dash as well. So what is the R9 to you and me? Will it make it to India? Well, that we'll leave it for later. But let's look at the design. And the moment the teaser dropped, I was jumping with joy like a kid uh, who just you know, stole a kite <laughs> on Sankranti and got the best kite in the sky. And uh, it's available in two colors. The black looks absolutely stunning, man. It looks kick-ass. Uh, yes, it has the winglets, which is the mantra these days. Uh, which, whether it is visual aesthetics or added downforce, you don't know. Uh, but yes, it does help for such a sharp track weapon. You need to have these. When you're giving winglets for, uh, what, 300cc bikes these days? Why not for a 900cc monster? Okay, let's get started now. Uh, let's uh, look at what they have written here. The R9 takes proven race-derived technology and combines it with critically acclaimed triple-cylinder engine platform, which has revolutionized the Yamaha brand over the last... This is, I'm reading it straight out from the Yamaha original website. This yeah, the R9 represents progression expected from a new generation. While R1 level suspension and Brembo brakes, yeah, it gets Brembo style mass, mild new, it gets Brembo style mass, there's no compromise. And you get KYB USD, folks. 
uh, I wish they had offered a uh, Olin suspension variant. Maybe that's safe for later. We never know. But uh, the level of precision, the handling, the agility is on another. Is going to be on another level. I can see it happening. Like when you see the bike in motion, it's like pure poetry in motion. Man, uh, you got to start saving your money, guys. I'm going to start saving my money. <laughs> I'm going to sell my property to get my hands on this one. I'm so crazy about this one. Okay, so new generation KYB fully adjustable suspension up front. These are 43 mm inverted front forks from KYB fully redesigned and uh, now have individual adjusters for rebound and compression damping on the left and the right forks. Separate function forks, you can say that. And uh, the rear shock is adjustable for preload, rebound damping and compression damping and ride height. So uh, it also, the new layout also offers precise damping, uh, offers greater feedback from the track as well as the road uh, this is about the suspension next comes the uh, the ride control and the customizable settings you have riding modes like sport street rain and the factory settings with uh, different levels to suit various conditions okay uh, you have sport street okay street is for the street sport is for the sporty riding through the street and rain is there where is the track mode okay let's oh and the four okay so by the option you have preset two custom modes and four track modes Oh, four track modes. That's crazy. And then lean sensitive riding aids, traction control, slide control, brake control, wheelie control, you name it. This one has this courtesy of the six axis IMU measuring the acceleration, uh, the pitch axis, the roll axis and the yaw axis and uh, in the forward, backward, up and down, left and right directions, as well as the regular velocity uh, of the machine. Man, uh, you have slide control, you have brake control, you have traction control, it goes without saying, you have ABS. So, you, it comes to truck load of all the electronics. That's what Yamaha do. They just launch one bike in a decade that's, a, that's well ahead of its time. That actually covers the coming decade. And then you also have power modes, launch control and lift control. Oh my god. And uh, then you also have the engine brake management and the back slip regulators, back torque uh, management system. Uh, uh, which is more or less the slipper clutch. Uh, so uh, it prevents the back torque from kicking in uh, when you're doing faster downshifts. So it is called back slip regulator here. Uh, so it is uh, more like the back torque limiting system. And also 5 inch color TFT console. This looks so beautiful, so gorgeous. I think it deserved this new update. I mean, all the R series bikes deserve a new dash, man. That tiny little weeny little dash with almost a plethora of controls. The plethora now what does the word plethora means means is empty number of infinite number of controls just open up as if you are uh, you know operating a um, uh, audio mixing keyboard uh, audio audio mixing console that's the kind of uh, suite that opens up when you open into the settings of the r1 if you have uh, seen one so it's so complete it looks complicated uh, but now it's far more easier now the dash is far more vivid and clear it has uh, multiple themes and all and then you have uh, clip on handlebars you have a third generation quick shifter up and down bi-directional quick shifter for clutchless upshifts as well as downshifts bridgestone batlax hypersport rs11 tires wow so they have not left any stone unturned and you also have the white track uh, app that allows you to you know check your tra lap times and uh, you know get all the right statistics such that you can improve your lap times with time so you have 320 mm uh, dual disc brakes up front single 220 mm disc at the back these are the front ones are brembo style mrs and again tires i've already informed you and suspension travel up front is 120 mm rear suspension travel is 118 mm uh, the swing arm is an aluminium swing arm that uh, actually goes without saying so the lightest aluminium delta box frame on the yamaha super sport model so it's a diamond frame or delta box frame you call it either one but it is the aluminium chassis it's gravity cast aluminium uh, delta box uh, style frame and it is tuned for high rigidity for uh, optimized performance and the standalone weight of the chassis itself is 9.7 kilos 9.7 kilos that's about it i mean the bike itself weighs 195 kilos can you imagine 195 kilos for a 900 cc triple monster yeah 890 cc cp3 liquid cooled three cylinder dohc four valve per cylinder fuel injected engine uh, the bore and stroke is around 78 mm and 62 mm 
uh, uh, and the, the compression ratio is really high and you also have the Yamaha chip controlled throttle for precise throttle response puts out 119 ps of max power and 93 newton meters of max torque comes made it to a six speed super slick six speed gearbox and uh, more than that i am really curious to see okay let's check out the practical thing ground clearance is 140 mm decent enough as i told you the weight is 195 kgs tank capacity is 14 liters again decent enough so saddle height is 830 mm so these are the relevant things uh, we indians are looking for uh, so yeah, 830mm is more than sufficient, manageable, almost all the Dukes are around 830mm. Uh, the 14 litre tank capacity is also good enough. Uh, the chassis is well laid out, 180 section rear tyre, 120 section front tyre and these are RS11 tyres, so th those are really good. So suspension, I hoped they could have offered an SP, maybe the SP variant is in the making and you will get the all-in suspension eventually. Uh, but that is pretty much it uh, and the pricing not yet announced here in India. We are not even sure whether it is coming to India or not, but you do have host of accessories. Wow! So, you have heated grips as accessories, you have soft panniers. So, they are hoping that you will take it for uh, touring. <laughs> Beautiful engine because for those who have ridden the MT-09, they know what I am talking about. It is an absolute freaking beast and uh, imagine the kind of tuning it is going to have in a super sport. It is going to be a different state of tune and the gear ratios are going to be slightly different. It is going to be an absolute missile that's going to absolutely dominate the track and decimate the competition. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. To watch more pure automobile content, stay tuned right here at Dino's Vault for more action that's coming up. Cheers.